Okay, the next thing we want to do with our assembly here is we want to build our tail feathers, our tail group for this aircraft. I have the horizontal stabilizer and the elevator and the vertical stabilizer and the rudder all laying here. Now, there are different ways that you can do this. I've got you building this out of 330 seconds balsa. That's what I used. Now, if you want, um, you know, you're not going to be able to hinge this just like, um, like, a, you know, like a typical foamy. You're going to have to, um, you know, do something a little bit different. You're going to have to hinge like we do with balsa. Now, because this is, um, you know, thinner balsa, 330 seconds of an inch thick, about the only kind of hinge that you're going to be able to pull off here is, um, you know, a CA hinge, which you can buy very inexpensively. And basically what that involves is that you take your elevator, you take your X-Acto blade, and you run a little slit in the elevator, and you push a hinge in. And then you do that in, yeah, I'd probably say four places across, every couple of inches. And then you would do the same thing to the horizontal stabilizer, and you would push them together and pull them back ever so slightly for a gap, and then you would wick in thin CA on those hinges until those hinges won't take any more um, CA glue. And again, you'd have to use thin. And then once it sets up and dries, you just crack it and exercise it back and forth, and you've got a very good hinge. Um, you, I've not tried it. You know, you, uh, a lot of you guys that are building foamies will use Blenderm to stick down, um, and that'll form your hinges on your foamies and such. That may very well work on balsa as well. Um, I would recommend that you get some very fine grit sandpaper, sand it all very, very smooth. You may even go to the um, go to your favorite hobby shop and get something called sanding sealer. Testers used to sell it, and it's in a very small little bottle. And that little bottle, you would just brush this on and then sand it with fine paper, and it gives you a nice hard surface to stick tape to. And in, if in doubt, you know, if you just can't figure out the best way you want to hinge it, you've never done CA hinges and what you see here that I'm going to use is my uh, a strip of one inch monocoat, and uh, which is just a heat shrink covering, and my monocoat iron tool. But if you don't want to go that route, there's nothing wrong with instead of cutting these pieces for your rudder and uh, elevator out of balsa, you can just grab you some artist's foam board, um, you know, Elmer's foam board, fan fold foam, whatever, and make the tail group out of foam instead of instead of balsa and then you know that you can do a tape hinge on that so anyway right now you want to take those pieces and hinge them and I'm not going to bore you with how I make a monocoat hinge basically all I'm going to do is create a very small gap put the covering down splitting that gap iron it down nice and tight flip it over do the other side and voila I'll have a hinge uh, we can talk more about this on the podcast uh, on the next next show, but this is what what I'm going to have you do right now. Like I said, if you if you um, have never done CA hinges, uh, be sure and you know do a Google search for them. You'll find all kinds of information on them. I've flown those hinges on tons of airplanes. Uh, and if you're if you have monocoat and a monocoat iron or you know covering tool lying around, then by all means use this method. Doesn't matter what color you want to use. I would you know cover the whole thing. But it's not really needed because this is not a nitro airplane. This is an electric airplane. So there's no chance of the balsa getting messed up by fuel residue and exhaust oils and so forth. So I'm just going to make the hinge out of it. Anyway, I'm going to do that and I would urge you to hinge your pieces um, just like that. And then uh, join us back and we'll, we'll see what the next step is for putting this thing together. Okay, I've hinged both my elevator and my rudder, and I love working with, with iron-on coverings. Uh, you can see there, just by doing the two one-inch strips, I've got a, got a pretty nice hinge there. And for a 14-ounce aircraft, 14, 15-ounce aircraft, this hinge will work just fine. It's going to take uh, all the abuse we can throw at it. I also, just for kicks, I thought I'd try an old technique that I haven't done in a long time. That's where you cut strips of your iron-on covering, you turn them back to back for about an eighth of an inch, and you iron them together, 
and then you just kind of you know weave them in and out ironing them to each side of your control surfaces I haven't done that in years and I thought that would be fun to try and just takes a few minutes and it makes for a fairly interesting hinge anyway for our next step we are going to glue our vertical to our horizontal we're going to reference this line here now a good way to help you to be sure that you've got this thing completely perpendicular you know uh, and it's you know it's not leaning one way or the other I've got a speed square this is just a carpenter's speed square I used it building my studio and it works really good because I can line this up get it where I want it to be make sure it's perfectly square and then hold it while the glue sets so that's the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to run a little bit of glue and I'm going to get my glasses on for this because I'm getting old but I'm going to lay a little bit of CA I say a little it looks like I'm using a lot liberal more liberal than I'd intended to and I'm going to position this right on my little little line and I'm going to take my speed square and stick it there and I'm just going to hold that while it sets uh, a trick that one can do with if you want to very carefully meter how much accelerator you put on you take a unscrew the bottle like I did there and just wick it into the sides just by using the pickup tube as a dabber I learned that trick a long time ago and I gotta tell you that that works really good that'll help our CA to set up a little faster and it looks like we've got it I'll go ahead do the same thing on this side here just put a little drop or so in there and just that quick we've got our vertical fin glued to our horizontal and it looks like we're pretty square I feel good with that okay now this is a little on the weak side if I if that was to see a whole lot of stress by golly that's gonna break that's the reason I had you guys get your tri stock your quarter inch square tri stock and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a couple of pieces oh probably about two and a half inches or so and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it here um, good old sharp razor blade to get you cut through the soft balsa without too much trouble at all and I'm gonna cut two of them so I'll use one as a guide I have a balsa saw as well now if we want to dress this up and make it look kind of kind of cool we'll take our sanding block which every one of you should have and I'm just gonna sand this just to bring it to a point and if I can sand it straight and this is just cosmetics really doesn't uh, this isn't going to change anything about how it flies but you see I've got a I can get that it's got a nice little angle to it there I'll do both sides this is one of the reasons that I just love building with balsa uh, more so than foam is you know you take the time and just kind of finesse everything and there's just a whole lot of personal satisfaction in it now what I can do is I can put a little CA down and glue that in and that makes a fillet and that's going to give us plenty of strength I'll hold it up there maybe where you can see it but it kind of looks nice there it gives us a lot more strength than what we would have if we just had glued the vertical to the horizontal with no extra stabilization so I'm gonna glue these in and we'll get started on the next part of the assembly shortly
Okay, the next thing I want you to do, remember we've got our assembled fuselage, our 16 inch fuselage stick with our pylon mounted to it now. That glue has set. So that's our fuselage. Now what I want you to do next is on the bottom, up on the side opposite our pylon, I want you to measure from the back. Come up about four inches and you can probably see that little dot that I have there, four inches from the back and I want you to drill a hole with your drill. Hopefully that'll show up and that I'm using 330 seconds um, music wire. I told you you could use 078 or 093. Well, dot 093 is uh, 330 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. So I popped a, a hole in there all the way through to the top. And with that, I'll be able to take my music wire and slide it in there. I'll make sure it's got a good fit. I want it to be snug, not loose, but that's going to serve as our tail skid. And we'll get that in a little bit. So, drill that, and we've almost got a fuselage complete. Alright, your next step here now is to bend your landing gear. So I've got my templates here, and I have roughed out landing gear. Now I'm going to tell you right now, this music wire is real difficult to bend. I used pliers, I used a pair of channel locks, um, I used vice grips. Um, bending wire landing gear is not the easiest thing, but I've got pretty close. The main thing you want to be sure is that uh, on your mains, that the opening at the top is going to be sufficient to work with your 3 8 square fuselage dowel like we have here. So you want to be sure that you know, you're not so tight that it doesn't fit, but also you don't want to make it too loose either. And then I've built our tail skid. Um, again, it's rough, but it's close enough that I think it's going to be okay. What we're going to end up doing, we're going to put our tail skid on first. And we're going to slide it in through the bottom. And it'll be about like that. That's going to serve as our tail skid. Now what we're going to do with this, an old trick that we used to do uh, ages ago, gosh, 30 years ago, we're going to take regular sewing thread. This is one of the uses that I wanted you to, to pick that up for. And we're just going to wrap it. We're going to wrap it real tight from the beginning all the way to the end of this, this area here onto the uh, fuse stick. If we wrap it nice and tight and complete, then that's going to hold it in place. But when we're done, we're going to take our thin CA. Medium will work, but I prefer thin. And then we're just going to saturate all that thread. That thread by itself is not very strong. But once we get enough wraps of it, and then we hit it with CA and let it cure, that it's going to more than, it'll be more than strong enough to hold our tail skid in place. So I'm going to do that now, and then we'll talk about putting the main gear on. Okay, I don't know how well the camera is going to pick this up, but you can see that I have wrapped that with thread, a tail skid, and we have it, we have it pretty well wrapped up there, and I've hit it with uh, thin CA and a little bit of accelerator, and now it's on there to stay. Okay, our next step, very quick and easy. Remember we've got our plywood battery uh, pedestal here. We've got 330 seconds balsa on one side. That's what this side here is. And on this side we've got light ply. Or, uh, I'm sorry, 16th inch ply. Well, what we're going to do with this is we're going to put this on our fuselage and we're going to flush it up. We're going to put it even where the edge here is even with our... Um, brace here for our pylon mount. So we're going to glue that on and then we're going to center it as well. And this is going to be a part that's going to help to brace our landing gear as well as hold our battery pack. So glue that on next and I'm going to do that off camera and then we'll be ready to to do our landing gear. Our mains anyway. Okay now that our our battery mount has dried. 
Now I don't know if I mentioned to you in the last uh, segment or not, but I want you to glue the balsa side to the pine side. Uh, in your laminate for your battery uh, battery mount there. The reason I want to do that is because this is going to this this plywood side is going to give us a nice place to put velcro to stick our battery to and velcro would tend to probably pull away from the balsa uh, but the the plywood is going to be nice and strong there. Okay well I've taken my main landing gear and as you may be able to see here I've taken a zip tie and zip tied it snugly around the bottom here, if that shows up, um, to hold that together. And that's a good strong zip tie and that's not going to break away. So we'll have that in place and then I will clip this back. And if we ever need to take this landing gear for, off for any reason or tweak it again or change it, we can just cut the zip tie and slide the thing off. Now I have sanded a small notch on the top side of our fuse stick and basically that is just to hold our landing gear, give it something to sit into there. And I've got a piece of scrap, 330 seconds balsa, and I'm going to slide it right up in there and glue that to the fuse just like that. hope that shows. And that's going to basically take the play out of our landing gear. And I may even opt to put a little piece of uh, 16th ply on that as well just to make sure that it provides a nice brace for us but that's going to give us our landing gear so i'm going to do that and then we will finish the next step uh, which we're going to get a chance to mount our vertical and our horizontal after this landing gear is done okay now that our landing gear is held on and i got some May see I've got some screwy little wheels on there only because well that's all I had I didn't buy any more at the hobby shop today I wish I had okay the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna complete the major portion of our fuse build by flipping our fuselage over to the bottom side and we're gonna line up our horizontal stabilizer here and we're gonna glue that in place Remember we made our little reference lines from our templates so that we can see to get that on straight. So just double check it, eyeball it, make sure you've got it like you want it to be and glue that in place and that's going to pretty much conclude the primary build of our fuselage. So uh, we'll get into probably the sail next.